We're going to take a look at a couple ways to secure and mount the Hornady Rapid Safe. The Hornady Rapid Safe comes with a security cable that can be used to uh, attach the safe to immovable objects like bedposts or uh, nightstands, that type of thing. It also includes four mounting holes in the bottom so you can secure it to a wall or other objects. So first, the security cable can be ran around a, an object. You run the other end back through the loop on the end and then slide it in the slot or on the safe. And then when you close the lid, the safe is now securely attached. Depending on how you'd like to mount the rapid safe, the keypad is reversible. So if you mount it on the left hand or right hand, you can switch this so it best fits your, your mounting style and how you like to open the safe. Before mounting it to the wall, the first step is to remove the anti-tamper plate found in the bottom. For that, you'll need an 8mm socket wrench. There's two screws or two nuts on the bottom that must be removed. Once you have the two nuts removed, you lift out the anti-tamper plate by lifting the foam slightly and then sliding the plate forward off of the weld nuts and then lifting it out. You can set this aside. It's important to use this when using the security cable, but if it's securely attached to the wall, this plate is not needed. The Hornady Rapid Safe can be mounted in multiple orientations. It can be mounted flat on the tabletop like this. It can be mounted on its side, either direction, or vertically, as we've chosen to do in this application. However, we do not recommend mounting it upside down because the rapid sleeve may not contain the firearm securely. Before mounting, I like to remove the rapid sleeve for better access to the two mounting holes on the bottom. To remove the rapid sleeve, you lift up on the two tabs until they pop off and you can remove the rapid sleeve. In the back of the owner's manual, there's mounting, a mounting template. The mounting template shows the location for the four holes. You align this with the corner, front corner of the rapid safe, and then these line up with the mounting holes in the bottom. I typically try to find a stud when mounting to a sheetrock wall. That is the most secure method. For the other two holes, I like to use a quality anchor system. After using the template to mark the mounting holes, I like to pilot drill the holes that are found in the studs. For the wall anchor system, we recommend following the manufacturer's instruction for each type and style. Once my pilot holes and wall anchors are installed in the wall, I set the safe up on the wall. This is where it may be helpful to have a friend hold the safe while you install the screws. Once the rapid safe is securely fastened, the rapid sleeve can be placed back into the unit. Make sure the tabs are lifted. There's a, bar that, a silver bar that runs across the bottom of the unit. That bar lines up with the tabs. Once in place, you can lift the rapid sleeve up against the lid to tighten it down. The rapid safe is now ready to securely store your firearm. That's a couple ways to secure and mount the Hornady rapid safe.